So we're here in the um, Fisher Satellite Uplink area of K2 News, getting ready to go live on uh, Fox News Channel. Some behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, I'm on the bridge. This is Portland. Uh, yeah, sure, we can do that. Uh, give me a couple seconds here. It's officially nighttime. Ah, yes. uh, okay. Need any help? No, it rolls pretty easy. All right. <laughs> See, I was right. <laughs> push for more gun laws, they're creating a society of victims. Right, and for you and your family, it's important to make sure you're not used in that case. Were you surprised to get that call? Um, I was kind of surprised with it. Um, I was contacted by a lady over Facebook who asked if um, she could give my information to Anne, and she told me why. Um, I was very straightforward. I told her how I felt about guns, and... Uh, I wasn't sure if she was going to take that and decide not to give Anne my number or not, and she did. And so um, I was kind of surprised when I got it, but at the same time, I'm glad that you know she called instead of just deciding to run with the story, anyways. And, and Jesse, uh, can you tell me a little bit about Jesse? Um, yeah, she was a she was a great person. She was a teacher at a cosmetology school. Uh, she had two beautiful girls. She was very like fun, outgoing kind of person. Everyone loved being around her. Wow, such a tragedy. Uh, Jenny Cochran, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, no problem. All right, uh, two minutes before the bottom of the hour. Coming up, hate unfolding on a college campus. A Jewish fraternity vandalized and. Okay. Thank you. That it? All right. 